What's up? I am back and it feels so long since I've just been here in front of this camera. Um, it's been a while. I feel like since you see me, like it might have been a week. It might have been like, it just feels so much longer than that because it has been like at least a month since I've filmed the video behind this white backdrop and just sitting here with, in front of this DSLR and just filming. So I'm so excited to make this video for you because I've had this idea for like a week straight and it's like one of those things where you have an idea in your head and then you start to think about it for a YouTube idea and like other YouTubers hear me out on this because like it happens to me all the time and um, you have that idea and like you start thinking about it and then you're like that's a stupid idea but you keep going with it and like the idea like changes and like that my idea changed like seven different times before I actually came up with this one um, so I guess that's just like the thought process I don't know. Alright, today I am going to be showing you guys six different optical illusions. And um, as a kid, I honestly like never liked these. But um, I've been thinking about it. I've been like thinking about it like more recently. Like I've been like, for like this whole week I've been looking at these things. And um, they're like actually kind of cool. So I'm going to share with you six of the my favorite ones that I found. So let's go. There's a set of two boxes, and they appear to be two different colors. I see white and gray. But if you take your finger and place it right over like that line in the middle, like that seam, the color, uh, box on the bottom should change to that same gray because they are the same color. And I don't really know how this works. I just feel like the line in the middle makes you think that they're two different colors because they're two, two different boxes, but really, they're the same color if you just put that line in the middle of it. What direction do you think this silhouette is moving? Clockwise or counterclockwise? If you see it going clockwise the same way I did, stare at the red dot in the bottom left hand corner and you can trick your mind, or I don't know how it works, but it, it, the dancer will switch directions and go counterclockwise. So just stare at that red dot for a few seconds until you see it switch. This one might hurt your eyes and you may be affected for a couple of minutes, but trust me, it's really cool. Alright, so stare at the red box right in the middle, and I'm going to play this for about a minute. And just keep staring right in that middle. Now make me a sandwich. <laughs> just kidding, but keep looking at the middle.
right, look away, look at your friend, look at your mom, look at something in the room, look away from your phone or your computer, and everything should be like if you're underwater, like looking up at like the, you know, and like you have water in your eyes, I don't know, it's called the underwater effect. So it's supposed to look like you're underwater. All right, stare at the red X in the middle of the screen. You should just see a bunch of random lines, and that's what I saw at first. But as soon as I take that red X away, you should see a familiar shape within the lines. Yeah, you should see a panda bear right in the middle of those lines. Um, again, I have no explanation. I'm, if you're here to get explanations on why these work, I have no idea. But um, they're freaking awesome. All right. You see those circles going like around the screen? It kind of looks like when YouTube like loads or anything loads. Um, those circles seem to be like disappearing for like a split second and keep spinning. But if you stare at that cross right in the middle, do you see those um, outer circles turn color? They should turn green. They should turn like pink to green. And like the more you look, like the brighter the green it gets. It'll be real faded in the beginning, but once you keep, keep staring, it's like a really vibrant green that like just keeps spinning around the circle. And that's really cool because like, you're just looking at something different and like, it just completely changes colors. Last one, all you have to do is stare right in the middle of those spiraling circles for about a minute. I'll play it for about a minute. So that is all I got for you guys for this video. I am I'm sorry if you guys have seen some of those before or all of them before. I feel like they're really old. Um, I'm just now getting around to seeing those. I saw ma the majority of those for the first time um, and I just thought they're really cool and I wanted to share them with you and I just thought it was a really good idea. So I made a video about it because why not kids? Why not? I used to upload every Mondays and Fridays and I'm just going to be honest with you. That worked. I did that for a solid like four, like I think it was like six months. Honestly, I think I counted like a couple weeks ago uh, how many months I've been doing that for. Um, but it's just been getting way too stressful because all you YouTubers out there know that it's really hard to come up with a video at least once a week, let alone two videos a week. And if you're gonna vlogs are easier to do in your thing because they in your week because they don't require any planning. You just pick up your camera and you do what you do, right? So. Um, I might think about doing that. I'm definitely gonna keep vlogging in the summer. Um, we are down to like our last couple weeks of school. We get out March 25th, not March 25th. What are you saying, Jake? May 25th, I think, um, if I had that correct, that's what my brother keeps telling me. Um, so I'm sure he's right. I just have no clue because 
I just care like how soon like I don't like I don't know the date I just want to like give me a countdown so until then I'm gonna start posting every Friday because it's just can't too stressful and it's just not fun and YouTube's supposed to be fun it's I'm not doing it for the views I'm not doing it for the subscribers and I'm not doing it for the money obviously because I haven't made any yet but uh, <laughs> With that being said, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you wanted to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what you guys thought of this. Comment if you've seen any of these before, and if not, tell me that too. Um, tell me which one was your favorite. My personal favorite was either the ballerina, because it was so confusing to me at first, or the um, when my head got really big, or when something you looked at got really big. If you guys want to follow me on all my social media links, will be down below. Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Snapchat. Um, they're also in my YouTube banner, which I now I just changed because it's really cool. So, um, yeah. He like said that's all I got for you guys today, but don't worry because you guys will see me Friday with another video. Goodbye.